Hey, Ronnie Dahl, four wheeling in westernaustralia.com, and welcome to another review. This time I am reviewing the SB30 angle fridge, the fridge drawer. So it's a drawer, that's a fridge. There are a lot of great things about it, but there are some bad things about it too. So I'm going to point out all the pros and cons so you can decide if it is the fridge for you. Now this has been highly requested and I've had loads of questions about it in all different aspects. So I'm just going to dissect this fridge and give you my opinions and my experience with it and that should determine if this is the fridge for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so firstly we'll start with a bit of product description. Now this is a 30 litre fridge, it's called the SB30, it is a fridge freezer. Now I haven't used it as a freezer, given the purpose that I'm using it for. Now the purpose I'm using it for is the roadside snack stopper, because look, I do have this table here that comes out, so I'll pull over on the side of the road, pull the table out, open this fridge up and start making a sandwich or something. So what I'll use this fridge for, drinks, while we're there, why not? I am camping out here for a couple of days, so cheers. Whoops. All right, continuing on. Great for cans, and great for like your cheeses, you know, kids yogurts, jam, that kind of stuff, eggs. All the kind of stuff you're going to use roadside, even like little dips and cheeses, stuff like that. That's what I use it for, and that's what I reckon this fridge should be used for. So therefore, I'm going to say that this fridge is a secondary fridge, it's not your main fridge. I have a fridge here, which happens to be another Engel, but look, Engel, ARB fridge, Waco, whatever, it doesn't matter. You want your other fridge to be your main fridge. This is not a main fridge, this is a secondary fridge. So in my opinion, I couldn't use one of these as a main fridge. I'd have to have a fridge like this one here, or like the others I mentioned. And this here then becomes my secondary fridge because it's my roadside snack stop. So I think I've made that point quite clearly there. In terms of size of the fridge, the dimensions will be on the screen now because I can't remember that, but it's roughly 400 wide, 250 high, 700 something deep. Now the fridge itself has a motor on the back which you can actually separate and put somewhere else and I would actually recommend that because it does generate a bit of heat and being in this black canopy like I have it in, it kind of gets a bit hot in there and the efficiency dies a bit. So I will get into that a bit more in the cons but there are a lot of pros. Before we get to pros and cons, um, look if you had this in a wagon on a vehicle that has you know, an air conditioned vehicle. Um, something like that, this would be perfect. It'll, you know, it won't have to run as much as it will in a canopy like this. Now this canopy does get quite hot and it's not very insulated, if you know what I'm saying. There's no air conditioning happening in the back here. So what it does is it draws air in here, spits air out here. So if the motor's at the back, it's gonna get that heat in, in the circulation. It's not gonna run as efficient as if it was in an air conditioned wagon. That's, that's the point I'm trying to get to there. Pros and cons, we'll start with the pros. Roadside snacks, out she comes. Let's make a sandwich. Doing all kinds of things with it. It is so convenient and so handy. Another pro, you can see everything in here. You can get to the size from anywhere possible. There's no lid you have to open. That's one thing I do like about it. Another pro, you can throw it into a setup like this in a canopy perfect for this. It doesn't take up that much room. See, all the other fridges, like this one here for example, it's quite tall and the lid's at the top so you, you got to kind of accommodate for it. You have to put, a, put it on the slide and then come out. So I guess that's, a, that's two pros and one here. It comes with its own slide, its own hinge. It's quite lightweight this. Now the fridge itself weighs about 19 kilos, which isn't that much. A fridge like this weighs a lot more. Probably 30 kilos, 40 kilos, depending on the size of the fridge. So, in those kind of terms, it's pretty good. There are some cons of it. You know, it's this um, Velcro I have attached on the top here. It's not something, or it's something I've been experimenting with. Now, on corrugations, if you don't fill this fridge up, 
things can bang around and it can be a bit of movement. So what that does, it's on corrugations. I've started doing it now, only just started doing it. Now I've had it for, oh, I don't know, nearly a year, I guess, without using this. This is something new I've put on there. So there's a bit of movement. So this goes on to the second con, this movement here. That's what I'm trying to stop on corrugated roads. On the inside here, there's a bit of foam, uh, like a bit of foam, and that seals on here. So the seal is not the best. And that's why I would say this is probably really good for an air conditioned wagon. There it doesn't matter. In the back of a ute, however, that seal, I don't find it quite sufficient enough for myself because I have a single battery. So it will use more power. And how do I know this? I can hear it running, right? Now underneath here, it forms a bit of ice, which it has now. That means it's not sealing perfectly. Now there's no, there's no real fix to this. So I have brought that up to Engle and they're gonna, they're actually looking into it to maybe update it. But it's not a deal breaker, I'll tell you that. Another thing, this control knob here, if they could move that to the door, you could then get taller cans over here. Because as you can see here, you slide and open, everything that's here is gonna get caught on it. Um, honestly, that is such an easy fix. To my mind, it's an easy fix. If Engel, if you can fix that, this fridge, you're gonna improve it a third, I reckon, a third of its usefulness. Because, here's the reason. A 500 mil can, which you'll see on your screen because I don't have one here, fits perfectly here, okay? But only on the edge because on the two edges, it has a little cut down for cans, right? So 500 mil can fits perfectly. Um, even your tall jars of um, olives, you know, those kind of things that are a bit tall, anything the size of a 500 mil can fits perfect down this side. Now it has this cutout on both sides, but this control unit is in the way. So you can't put those cans here. And also things get a bit caught here on this side. So you have to, you have to work around it and sort of pack it in a certain way so it doesn't get caught here. So if they can move that, it'll improve this fridge immensely. I'm going to change my setup pretty soon on the whole ute. And I'm telling you this because would I put this fridge back in? Hell yes, I would. This fridge is so convenient. All the, all the cons I've mentioned to you, they are outweighed by the usefulness and the convenience by this fridge. There is one thing I will have to do, but that is upgrade my battery in the back because I have two fridges running. It draws twice the power. Look, you, you, you can have a fridge the size of these two combined in one fridge, it'll draw half the power. It's, it's kind of amazing how that works. You've got two motors working, right? So therefore, I'm using more power. So yes, this is going in the next setup. And um, would I recommend it to people? Uh, yeah, I would recommend it to people, but I will let them know about, about the cons and that it, this is a secondary fridge, it is not a main fridge. So I hope I've answered those questions. Um, for all those people who have been asking because there's been a lot of you guys and um, Yeah, thanks for watching and if you want to support any more unbiased reviews like this Support patreon.com subscribe here, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Hey, should I do a review on this one? I haven't done a review on that one yet Or my old ARB fridge. Do you want a review on the old one? Let me know. Comments below. Cheers <laughs>